you know, I kind of want to, I'm going to, I'm, I'm kind of going to do a scene. I'm going to set up a scene for you uh, in which we are, are going to go for our, our, our Facebook was out the other day, you know, for a few hours. And I've really reframed my, 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 my uh, reactions when it comes to technology, you know, months ago. Well, months ago, I've almost been a laughter yoga instructor for a year. Um, I started laughing at technical glitches because there is a technical glitch laughter. So it would look something like this. Ah, oh, my Zoom crashed. <laughs> Zoom crash laughter. <laughs> Speed bag. <laughs> so, you know, I was just reading. Uh, so, Mel Robbins, uh, I don't know if you follow her or not, and she's got this book out called uh, The High Five Habit. You know, and I tell you, these people who come up with the most simple, logical books, and the, the concept behind the high five is that our brains are programmed, here's that programming again, our brains are programmed uh, to release chemicals, feel good chemicals, when we high five, if you ever notice, when you're high fiving, you know, you high five yourself, or you high five a friend, why are you doing that? You're high fiving them because you feel good, you're congratulating, right? Way to go on that project, way to set that goal, way to beat that disease, whatever it is, you high five. So Mel Robbins has this whole thing now about high-fiving yourself in the mirror because our brains and our bodies are reframed, those neural pathways that when we do high-fives, we automatically feel better. And she is probably making millions of dollars on this simple, simple concept that, man, I had love a plant. I thought that was simple. This is even simpler. We're going to do high-five laughter and raise that, uh, raise our feel-good feelings about ourselves. Woo! Let's go! High-five! woo <laughs>